What's up guys? Mark here. Right now, it's the end of June and it's been super hot recently. But it's supposed to rain this whole week here in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm gonna hold back on the fishing this week. But I do want to prepare a nice fish. So I'm gonna head to my local farmer's market and see what they got and try to chef something up for y'all today. All right, I'll see y'all there. Can I see this one? Can you flip it? Yeah, flip. Uh, oh. uh, I'll take it. Can I get no queen? No queen. How much a pound? One. Uh, it's a drum, freshwater drum. Okay, that's good. No queen. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, make a video. Yeah. Yeah, of how to do it and what I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna eat it and make like a YouTube video. Yeah. Bro. yeah. Thank you. She brought that to the She didn't have a chip. Yo, we're back at the crib. Today, this is what we got. Fresh water drum. All right, let's go. All right, today this is what we're cooking. Fresh water drum. We got a fresh water drum today. It's a pretty good looking fish. It's got like a round face. Some other names for it include Gasper Goo. Gasper Goo. Got us a big Gasper Goo. Which is like a Southern name for it. And it's also known as a sheep's head, like in Canada which is what was written online. When I think of sheep's head, I think of the saltwater sheep's head. But yeah, this is also called the sheep's head. But the official name for it is called the freshwater drum. They're called drum because they make a drumming noise by using the muscles attached to their air bladder. It's like, dong. Dong. Yeah, that's why they're called drum. This one's about 23 inches. So it's pretty big fish. They do get up to like 30 pounds. This one was about six pounds and they're very cheap. The Nam Dai Moon, the farmer's market I bought it at, it was 199 a pound. So this one was about 13 bucks, 13, 14 bucks. But I actually did go to another Nam Dai Moon and they had it there for 129 a pound, but they were out. Normally at the other one, yeah, the other one I go to, normally they have like a bunch of really fresh big ones, but yeah, they didn't have any. But this one's still pretty good size this fish is native to north and central america it's more in the middle of the u.s i live in georgia and we don't have these guys it's a freshwater fish it looks like a saltwater croaker though and kind of like a redfish because they are in the same family all those fish make noise that's what croaker is called a croaker because it makes similar noise to the drum now this fish is known for not really having flaky meat more like a firm firm meat in the u.s it's similar it's kind of similar to silver carp in that it's not really a popular food fish but I bet it is called poor man's lobster for a reason. Oh! So we're gonna try it out and see what it tastes like. So first we're gonna make some fried freshwater drum. 
after I fillet it, we're gonna cut it up to some small pieces and fry it. And then I also do wanna see how it tastes grilled. So we're gonna grill a little bit of it too. But first, we're gonna take the scales off. Wow, they got some pretty big scales. They're bigger than I thought. Like similar to a carp, like some huge scales. All right, we got the scales off. Uh, I forgot to mention it before, one way to tell if it's fresh fish is you can look at the gills. See how these gills, if you can see, these gills are really red. When fish are alive, their gills are real red, but after they die, they'll turn brown. So you wanna look for red gills if you're trying to get a fresh fish. All right, first, we're gonna split the stomach and take the guts out. So we're gonna come from the butthole right here and come all the way up. Right here, it's very hard. Whoa. All right, got the inside. This one actually has got some roe right here, some eggs. All right, so we're gonna take the gills, I'm gonna grab them and rip them, and we're gonna pull, and the guts. Should all come out with the gills like this. This was a female freshwater drum. We're gonna keep these eggs. All right, these are the eggs here. We're gonna fry these along with the, the pieces of fish. This should be pretty good. All right, the rest of the guts we're gonna throw away. This is the air bladder right here. This is how fish control their buoyancy. It's just filled with air. This is the swim bladder. It's just filled with air. Uh, there's a YouTuber who always says, no matter how stinky the fish is, the fish bladder is always fresh air. So we're gonna see. Oh, nah, this one was stinky. All right, now we're gonna wash the inside. You wanna take a knife and cut it right here so you can get the rest. There's a bunch of blood in there. I'm gonna get that out because it has a fishy flavor. Use your finger, go back and forth. All right, the inside's clean. All right, now we can finally fillet it. First, we're gonna cut the head off. We're gonna come behind the collar, which is basically just right behind this fin, all the way down to the head. You wanna come at an angle. We're gonna flip. Then we're gonna come behind the collar on this side as well. Go all the way till you reach the spine, and then you're gonna go straight through the bone. So, yeah, so drum actually have like really hard bone. So sometimes it's better to just break it than try to cut through it. Yes. All right, we got the head. We're gonna eat this as well. It's a lot of good meat in the collar and over here. We'll save that for another video. All right, clean your knife. 
All right, first we're gonna make a cut going down the back. It's right here next to the dorsal fin. Just a little light, a shallow cut. Then you're gonna come a little deeper. You should feel the knife hit the ribs on this side. You should be able to feel it just like that. Then you're gonna flip, come from the belly right here. Then go a little bit deeper. Then you're gonna come over the spine bone like that. And then you're gonna go, you're gonna follow up until you hit the ribs. And drum got some pretty, and drum got some pretty strong rib bones. So we're just gonna cut through them with some scissors instead of trying to cut through them with the knife. Just come on them like this and snip. Got the first fillet. That's what the meat looks like. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna flip. Come along the back with a shallow cut. And go a little bit deeper. You feel it hit the ribs. I'm gonna flip. Come from the belly. Go a little deeper. I'm gonna go over the bone, come through like that. You're gonna go up the spine until you hit the ribs. And then we're gonna take the scissors, just cut through them. All right, got the second fillet. Some good looking meat. You got this one in half. You could use it to make fish stock or put it in your garden or something. And next, we're going to cut off the ribs. We're going to come behind them, but stay close to them because this rib meat should be pretty good. And he's got some weird rib bones. It's hard to stay close to him without losing most of the meat. I'm just gonna cut them all off like this. All right, we got filet number one. All right, filet number two. Let's see if we can save more of this belly meat, but I don't think so. I think it's, it's the same thing. I was hoping to save the belly meat, but for some reason it's like super hard to cut close to the ribs. So we just cut the whole thing off, but still not bad. Now we got two fillets of this freshwater drum. So if these are like most fish, they should have a set of pin bones going down the middle, but I don't really feel like picking them out. If they do have bones in it, I'll just pick them out as I eat it later. So now we're gonna cut this up into some steaks. All right, we got all the pieces of the freshwater drum.
どうもーちょっと待って待って待ってお腹空いてるほら今週はフレッシュウォータードラムっていう魚があるおちょっと大きかったかな大きかったごめんねやっぱ肉肉しいからね柔らかくなくて肉肉しいからこんな感じで食べてるかもしれないおいしいおいしかったおおかわいいじゃあもっとあげようかわあ待って待って待って浮き袋これ浮き袋待って待ってこれ浮き袋好きかなよいしょやっぱ美味しいんだはいほらほらよいしょよいしょやっぱ新鮮な魚美味しいよねうわうわうわかわいいはい。Sunflower oil. Oh! And some adobo. Just a little bit, though. Same thing. All right, these are good. about done.
わあやばいやらかしたまあいいやオーケー。Damn, it smells good. All right, first let's try this grilled freshwater drum. So yeah, the meat's not flaky. So it's not gonna come off super flaky. All right, I think from just that, it kind of reminds me of the texture of chicken. Like very hard, not flaky. Let's try it. Mmm! Just like chicken, holy moly. This is the chicken fish. We're renaming the freshwater drum the chicken fish. And it's like chicken too in that it's very oily. Like natural oil from the fish is leaking out. You could see it. And you could tell when it was grilling too. Wow. The texture is insane. Yeah, it tastes exactly like chicken. It's crazy. Like this is the closest thing to chicken I've ever tasted. Like people say that. Oh, it tastes like chicken. This is insane. Like the texture is hard like chicken. Wow. Mmm, that is crazy. All right, let's try this swim bladder. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, very chewy, but in a good way. It has the grilled flavor. It's very good. All right, let's try this roe, freshwater drum roe. Mmm, <laughs> wow. That is amazing. I don't, I've never had roe that tasted that good. Maybe it's because I think it's also because I cooked it pretty perfectly. Like it's, it's easy to cook roe to make it too dry, but this is juicy, very juicy. Mm. All right, next, let's try the fried version, fried freshwater drum. Let me take another bite. This one, the texture doesn't really stand out as much as it does on the grilled one. This one, it tastes like, this tastes like fried fish. And also, cause I didn't bread it, it doesn't really keep the moisture in. When you like put flour and you fry something, that keeps the moisture in. But when you don't, a lot of the moisture gets out and I'm gonna get, you know, crisp up real easy like these on the inside as well. But yeah, yeah, it's like fried chicken, fried chicken. The texture, like it's not fish. It's like identical to chicken, it's insane. And it's not really a strong fishy flavor. Like I fried these with the skin on too. Both of them. Got some mayo here. Try a little bit in there. Mmm. Then we got some half sour pickles here. I got from the farmer's market. All right, now that I've tried everything, I'd like to present my drink. Damn. Crystal Geyser. Woo! It's freaking good. Extra cold too. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it was definitely interesting. I'd seen that fish many times at the farmer's market. It was cool to try it out. The texture is just something else. It's not like most fish, it's very hard texture. I see where it gets the poor man's lobster name. It's very firm texture, but it's very good. I definitely recommend y'all should try it if you get the chance. If you see a freshwater drum or if you can catch one, I would recommend trying it. It's definitely worth a try. It's also really cheap too. You could find it for $129 a pound, which is really cheap. And they do get really big. So, yeah, if y'all get the chance, give it a try. Thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon and check out my merch. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.